functions, the basic idea what we covered about Python. Sir, what is Python? Python is a general purpose, high level programming language. Next and after that, sir, what is the who introduced Python? Next, what is the official data birth for Python? Next, uh, we discussed about, sir, why the name Python? Why the name Python? Next, uh, Python, how it is all around? Next, uh, for which type of applications we can able to get? Which type of applications we can able to get with this Python? Well, with, the, with the Python, which type of applications we can able to develop? And uh, then we covered features of Python. Very, very important, almost around uh, 10 or 11 features we covered. Among those, very important features are dynamically typed, dynamically typed, dynamically typed. Next, both the procedure oriented, both the procedure, procedure oriented and the object oriented. Regarding both procedure oriented and the object, object oriented. Regarding so these two things are very special when compared with the other languages, right? Next, the third one also extensive, extensive library support. Extensive library support. Have you remembered extensive library support? You people should should aware these things especially, right? Okay. So, what is the meaning of dynamically typed? Anyone can understand what the meaning of dynamically typed? Dynamically typed. What it means? Respond. Dynamically typed. Yes, dynamically typed. We are not required to declare type explicitly. We are not required to declare the type explicitly based on our provided value. Automatically, type will be considered. Regarding based on our provided value, dynamically, the type will be assigned. Such type of thing is by default considered as dynamically typed programming language. Remember that, sir, x is equal to 10. It is the dynamically typed programming language because, sir, what is the type of x? Or int, int, this is a type. We are not required to, uh, we are not required to declare explicitly. Automatically, based on the provided value, type will be considered. Next and after that, is, sir, Python is procedure oriented as well as object oriented. So Python can enjoy the benefits of procedural programming as well as object oriented programming. Next and after that, extensive library support. Sir, a big for every requirement, libraries are available. Directly we can use these libraries. We are not required, we are not required to implement those. That's why the programming by default will become very, very sort of simple. We are not required to write big lengthy code with very simple code only. We can able to develop, we can able to, we can able to write the program even for complex requirements also. Remember, when compared with any other language, these are the biggest advantages of Python, sir. Next and after that. There are some important words I have to I have to talk about that. Sir, what are various flavors of Python? Are you getting? Can you please tell in the last session somewhere we covered in the in the Python features? Sir. In the Python features, I cover Python is a open source and a freeware. Correct or not? Python is a open, open source, open source and a freeware. Sir, open source means uh, source code is open. If you want, you can customize Python based on our requirement, right? Okay. So because of this open source, multiple customized versions are available. One is C Python. Regarding what is the first one, sir? Flavors of Python, C Python. So it is the standard flavor of Python. Most of the times, whenever we are using, whenever we are Whenever we are installing Python, this version by default is going to come, sir. Sir, C Python, it is the standard, standard flavor of Python. It can be used to work with the C language applications, right? Best suitable to work with the C language, C language applications, right? Remember that. Next, uh, there is one more version is there, Jaitan. Are you getting that? Jaitan, Jaitan, or sometimes the people may use uh, J Python, J Python, okay? It is the best suitable for Java language applications, right? If you want to work with Java, Java together, then automatically we should go for Jaitan version of Python. Are you getting Jaitan flavor of Python? We should go for that, sir. 
నెక్స్ట్ అన్నా ప్రధాన్ సమ్వేర్ యూ మే హార్డ్ అబౌట్ ఐరన్ పైతాన్ అది కానీ ఐరన్ ఐరన్ పైతాన్ డోంట్ ఫీల్ ద పైతాన్ విచ్ ఈస్ డెవలప్డ్ విత్ ఐరన్ ఐరన్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ఐరన్ పైతాన్ నో అది కానీ ఐరన్ పైతాన్ మీన్స్ నా సార్ దిస్ అ ఫ్లేవర్ ఆఫ్ పైతాన్ బెస్ట్ సూటబుల్ ఫర్ టు వర్క్ విత్ ద డాట్ నెట్ అప్లికేషన్స్ అది కానీ టు వర్క్ విత్ డాట్ నెట్ డాట్ నెట్ అప్లికేషన్ మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ డాట్ నెట్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు వర్క్ అవర్ పైతాన్ దెన్ వి షుడ్ గో ఫర్ దిస్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ పైతాన్ సార్ నెక్స్ట్ అన్న ప్రధాన్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈస్ దేర్ డి నో if any person is asking what is the biggest drawback of python anyone can you please tell what is the biggest drawback drawback for python sir performance wise not up to the mark why the performance wise it's not up to the mark it is interpreted programming language regarding yes it is interpreted programming language performance wise it is not up to the mark remember this one that's why what happened is performance is going to be down so to overcome that the performance is shown yes sir, there is one more flavor of python came sir pi pi are you getting what is this one pi pi what is this one sir can you can spell out pi pi it is the version sir do you know python python for speed remember this one python python for speed internally inside python internally inside python jit compilation is there sir remember this one internally inside python jit compiler concept is a uh, inbuilt jit compiler is there inside python virtual machine because of this jit compilation concept automatically performance by default will be improved remember that okay so pi pi the biggest advantage what you are going to get if you are going for this flavor is a uh, performance by default is going to be improved sir remember this one clear any doubt up to this sraddha sraddha it is a live session not recorded video <laughs> yes so pi pi okay so pi pi the biggest advantage of pi pi is to improve performance are you getting the biggest advantage of pi pi is to improve performance performance right okay so jit compiler jit compiler inbuilt it is available inside the your jit compiler inbuilt it is available available inside python virtual machine because of this inbuilt jit compiler performance by default is going to be improved sir yes immediately there is no full form for that pi pi itself is python for speed that's all right okay sir now how the performance by default is going to be improved yesterday some people asked sir the jit compiler is there what is the biggest advantage can you please tell like some people asked sir a bit beyond our limit i'm going just to take take a bit very very special case sir at very top level at very top level we are going to discuss sir. at very top level we are we are going to discuss so that you people can feel uh, a bit a bit just the basic idea you may get sir sir just observe suppose i have one python program is there sir i have one 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 python program is there assume that this is the first line this is the second second line third line fourth line and so on like sir almost around uh, 10000 lines uh, of the python code is there sir assume that python code how many lines of the code is there sir 10000 lines of the code is there sir 10000 lines of the code is there sir i want to execute i want to execute this code okay usually what will happen is sir line by line it is going to be executed first line second line third line fourth line and so on right line by line is going to be executed sir some piece of the code some piece of the code do you know sir repeatedly required to execute repeatedly required to execute some piece of the code something like a loops concept something like a method concept such same method we require to execute multiple times sir same loop loop code maybe for loop or while loop code some so some code is there which is going to be executed multiple times just observe that if it is a normal python version what will happen is so if you are going to execute this code 10 times assume that sir how many times it is going to execute this piece of code how many times i require to execute sir 10 times 10 times time normal python what it is going to do yes every time take first line take first line and interpret into corresponding mission code and then execute are you getting how many activities it is doing sir read read next and after that interpret interpret means convert 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 into mission code and then execute sir first line completed first line completed 
now read the second line read the second line interpret and then execute read the third line interpret and then execute read the fourth line interpret and then execute like this these are 10 lines assume that 10 lines is there these are 10 lines read interpret execute line by line is going to be happened okay well now my target is if these are 10 lines are required to execute multiple times multiple times right then every time every time read interpret execute read interpret execute unnecessary performance is going to be down that's why so these are 10 lines uh, repeatedly required to execute that's why I convert into mission code only once are you getting can you please convert into mission code only once uh, and the next time on board execute directly that mission code who is going to take care converting these 10 lines of the code into mission code at a time that thing is going to take care by jit compiler remember that who is going to take care sir jit compiler jit compiler is going to take care so even you require to execute multiple times sir multiple times converting to mission code is not going to be happen only once uh, conversion is going to be happen every time that converted mission code directly it is going to execute that is the biggest advantage of jit compiler if you want that jit compiler ability then we should go for pi pi version are you able to understand basic idea basic idea everyone can able to understand Sushil, are you able to understand right? So it is regular in the regular regular Python, regular regular Python, this JIT compilation capability is not there. Remember that if you want the JIT compilation capability, then compulsory we should go for PyPy. That is the specialized version. Very simple, sir. Any code which is repeatedly required. Sir, this code is repeatedly required, man. Assume that this code is repeatedly required. So convert the, this code directly into the mission code only once and you can execute directly this mission code multiple times no problem at all. So if you want to execute 10 times, 10 times we are not required to convert into the mission code, convert only once and execute multiple times. That is the biggest advantage what we are going to get with this, okay, with, with this type of uh, uh, version, pi pi version type, okay, remember that. So next, how to install PyPy version and so on? Yes, the, how, to, how to install this PyPy version? Like, uh, yes, there is, a, if you can open the Google, sir, download installation of PyPy, then you can able to get it. Don't worry about that. But definitely it is a costly operation, right? Remember that, okay? Maybe somewhere, somewhere, so it may be, it may be paid or it may be somewhere, definitely it may be the, uh, there are some problems also there, disadvantages also there. If the disadvantage is not there, I mean, it may be paid version, it may be paid version, or otherwise, there are some, some performance, I mean, even performance got improved, there are some other factors may impact, that's why usually, performance is a very critical criteria, then only better to go for this version. Maybe paid version or not, just we will check, don't worry. So that's all, this is about pi pi. Next and after that, I want to work with the Ruby, Ruby, Ruby language, Ruby applications, right? Then we can go for Ruby Python. Are you getting? Then we can go for Ruby, Ruby Python, right? Best suitable for to work with the Ruby applications, right? Next and after that, Anaconda Python. Are you getting? What is this one, sir? Anaconda Python. Anyone can you please guess what is the Anaconda Python? <clears throat> uh, Anaconda Python. What about this one? Anaconda Python. <laughs> Are you getting Anaconda? Anaconda Python. Uh, remember this one? This version, this version of Python, Anaconda, best suitable for big data technologies. Are you getting it is best suitable for large volumes of data processing? Large, large volumes, large volumes of data processing. The people who are working on data science, the people who are working on Hadoop technology, Hadoop, Hadoop area large volumes of data processing then we can go for this type of version this type of python right okay like uh, sir this is anaconda anaconda python right similarly do you know we have stackless python 
regarding there is one more version of one more flavor of python is there stackless stackless uh, so this one especially best is suitable for multi threaded applications multi threaded applications right so concurrent access concurrent access is there so multiple end users are going to access the same concurrent execution is there so concurrent execution multi threading concept then we can go for this flavor of python okay like uh, all these are various flavors of python available remember this one sir standard version whatever we are getting c python it is a freeware it doesn't mean every version is always freeware are you getting that some versions may be freeware some versions may not freeware okay like remember that okay but this version standard version what we are going to install from python python.org it is a free version right clear friends <clears throat> yeah uh, yes raspberry which one which one is used sir uh, maybe standard version maybe maybe standard version anish anish singh okay so that's all this is what you people should should aware clearly right so these are various flavors are available for the python some people some people may install based on their programming requirement they can go for any flavor but one important special thing here for any flavor the syntactical kind of thing the usage of python is not going to be varied from flavor to flavor don't worry sir much changes won't be there 99.9.99.9 point nine percentage of the times sir same code everything is always the same just the only internal implementations may be different library support may be different okay remember that but beyond that nothing sir all flavors are going to work based on the python only so if you are going to learn one python tomorrow if you require to work on anconda python no problem you can able to do that sir okay <clears throat> yes ruby on rails is accepted by python next we are not required to install all these versions right uh, we require to install sir only c python based on our programming requirement we can install any version suppose tomorrow i want to work with the hadoop i want to work with the data science then obviously my hand should go for anconda python clear friends up to this any doubt yes amit the multi threaded applications are there in the standard version of python in the standard version of python multi threaded support is also there but this one is more specific version of python where it is applicable for multi threading concurrent execution maybe internally easiness by default will be there when compared with the standard version but standard version but standard version is always going to provide support for even for okay multi threaded examples also in our course multi threading is there i will discuss don't worry about that next up for new learner which one is better yes or c python standard python is always better akanksha yes it is going to work for avikan jit is pvm and jit both are not same jit is the part of pvm inside python virtual machine jit is one component remember that next uh, sir java jvm having jit ability python virtual machine having jit ability it doesn't mean python borrowed that feature from java or java borrowed from feature from python no so that that com that concept is available in both languages sushil don't compare yes same terminology available for the python available for the okay java inside jvm jit compiler is there inside python jit compiler python virtual machine jit compiler is there it doesn't mean it is taking from there or no jit j i t just in time compiler it is nowhere related to java specific it is nowhere related to python specific getting next step. yeah these are all so there is no guarantee whether these are so c python i'm sure it is the free anaconda python i'm sure it is the free but remaining things uh, i never worked just we can able to check in a google don't worry sir just uh, if you are going to spend one or two minutes uh, then you can get easy paid version 
R R open. Sir, uh, I mean it is the freeware. Okay, but anyway, as of our course, this one is more enough. Don't worry, sir. Yes, we can able to develop desktop applications, web applications, everything with the normal version of Python. Don't worry much. <clears throat> Clear, right? Okay, well. Now, what is uh, Python versions? What about Python? Python versions we require to talk. Very simple, sir. Do you know, currently, we have old Python 1x version is there. That's already gone. Python 2x, 2.x version is there. Python 3.x version is there, sir. So, forget about this one. This is the old and latest story, which came at the beginning days, sir. Now, we have Python 2.x and Python 3.x, sir. Can you please tell, can you, can you, can you, can you please tell, among these three, Sir, which one is the old version? Which one is the new version? Anyone, can you please tell? Which one is the old one? Which one is the new one? Okay, Python 2 is the new one. Python 3 is the old one. No, no. <laughs> Are you getting it? No, no. Uh, okay, don't. Uh, that's what I'm always expecting. Python 3.x is the new one. Python 2.x is the old one. Like that. If you observe that, if you observe python.org, observe, give it very carefully, sir. Python.org. In the Python 2, new versions are there. Python 3, new versions are available, sir. Just uh, have a look once, sir. If you if you consider that, oh, this is already view full list of downloads like view full list of downloads like sir. If you if you observe, have you observed right? Sir, this is uh, Python 2.7, Python 2.715, which one may first. Regarding up to May first, you can able to see Python 2.715 version. Regarding Python 2.715 version, May May first, May first up to that it is there, sir. Next June 20 June 27th, okay, 3.7.0 something like. Here you know these are recent recent versions like. So make sure there is in the Python 2.x tomorrow you may expect a new version. Python 3.x, you may expect a new version. The important point what you people should be aware, sir, Python 2x and Python 3x both are available. Both are developed as individual programming language. Python 3x is not the advanced version of Python 2x, right? It is developed as a separate programming language. Remember this one. So it is it is not compatible with the Python 2.x. Observe a bit carefully, sir. Here there is one small point must be required. Suppose in Java, Java 1.7 version is there, sir. Now tomorrow Java 1.8 version is going to come. Once Java 1.8 came, then no one is going to talk about 1.7. Means uh, 1.7 new en enhancements they are not going to provide directly 1.8. If tomorrow there is a new version, Java 1.9 or Java 1.10, like that, right? Okay. This is the newer version of this one. This is the newer version of this one. So the programs which are executed in the old version, compulsory new version should provide support. Every old version program should execute in the new version, right? Remember that. Sir, Python 2.x version program is it going to run in the Python 3.x version program or Python 3.x version uh, illustration or not? Can you please confirm? Can you please confirm? Python 2.x. Python 2.x program, I write by using a program by using Python 2.x. Can you please tell if this program is going to run on Python 3.x or not? What is, that, what is what you about your answer? Very important point. Compulsory you people should be aware. Sir, the program which is running in the Python 2.x, is it going to run? Is it going to execute it? By Python 3.x software or not? Yes, 
okay uh, remember that very very important terminology you people should be aware sir these two things are not compatible backward compatibility is not there remember that sir so don't feel this is the old version this is the new version no this python 3 is implemented as a separate programming language that's why even python 3.x came came after that yes python 2.x also new features are going to come are you able to understand right python 2.x python 3.x python 2.x programs there is no guarantee for the python 3.x python 3.x is implemented as a separate programming language that's why the program which is executing by using python 2 there is no guarantee for python 3 best example for you best best example for you if you consider if you if you consider that print print x here i'm taking x is equal to 10 sir print x only two lines is there only only two lines is there sir sir x is equal to 10 print x is there now i will ask are python 2 can you please execute this code yeah perfect is going to tell ah, i can execute no problem now i can able to print a 10 but the same code you can ask python 3 python 3 is going to tell sorry i can't run this code sorry i can't run this code are what is the problem with you then immediately python 3 is going to tell hey print the parenthesis must be required you didn't use parenthesis are you getting print the parenthesis must be required but you didn't use parenthesis then how i can execute this code okay python 2 and python 3 there is a difference is there sir both the backward compatibility is not there don't feel python 3 is a advanced version of python 2 suppose i'm taking x is equal to 10 if i can ask print x that's all now sir let me run this code if i run this code immediately immediately error by default you are going to get sir immediately error by default you are going to get what the reason for that is can you please observe that can you please observe that what it is telling missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean print of x did you mean print of x print of x like this it's go, it's going to talk regarding did you mean print of x like this right but the same code you can ask in the python 2 happily it is going to run no problem at all that's why there is a small small differences are there between the python 2 and the python 3 that's why so python 2 programs there is no guarantee uh, uh, will execute on python 3 python 3 programs there is no guarantee will execute on python 2 that's why both are different versions both are different languages sir. that's why then immediately you ask which version of python we require to go for can you please tell if you want to install which version we require to install 3x or otherwise 2x sir. <coughs> yeah that's what 2x or otherwise 3x sir. which version i should go for uh, highly recommended we should go for python 3.x the reason for that is by 2020 remember this one by 2020 okay python people are not going to provide support for python 2.x versions 2.x sir we are not going to provide support much library support we are not going to provide okay from 2020 onwards support of python 2.x we are going to stop sir we are going to provide support only for python 3.x that's why highly recommended we require to install python 3.x only okay remember that sir uh, really i got a bit shocked whenever whenever i see just observe this one whenever in the python python.org if if just i'm checking download download here if you observe that download if if i show this one download it is showing only 3.7 do you know just if I, if you can see this one few months before it is going to tell okay python here 2 point uh, 2 point uh, 6 point something like that uh, so two buttons by default will be there do you want 3x or 3x but now 3x already gone we it is it is showing only 3.7 means that highly recommended compulsory we require to go for python python 3.x only remember that sir are you getting so always recommended 3.x 3.5 3.6 3.7 no problem at all sir 
okay but uh, in the old version 2.x uh, sir from 2020 onwards no support at all next uh, between python 2 python 3 almost the same with the small small minor differences okay next level libraries uh, support for the 3x only but not for the 2x clear friends so how to install this python that part i will take care don't worry about that yes sir, that's all these are the python versions right backward compatibility is not there okay at the beginning 2.x came subhasis yes subhasis is asking one wonderful point sir why 2.x came why 2.x came uh, then sir at the beginning initial version of python is always 2.x only but later the people identified it is not that much useful okay more advanced more advanced in new flavor of python we have to introduce to the world like that they introduce this one now python 3x once it came into the picture then automatically you know the python life got changed are you able to understand can you please confirm python 2.0 version came in the 2000 year regarding this one came in the 2000 year next and after that this python 3.x 3x python 3 came in the 2008 remember that it came in the 2008 but the original python came in 1991 okay so 2000 just a python 2.x 2000 year programming 2018 year programming completely different man that's why highly recommended we should go for okay we should go for this version so you're right yeah uh, smruti ranjan panda what it means what you were doubt python 3x only we are going to use to develop applications 1991 python first version python 1x like a python original version maybe 1 1 1x 1991 okay that's all this is about uh, which versions of python we require to take care next one tomorrow 4.x is released at that time again we learn a new version no no sushil kumar just to take a bit very special care now python 3.x is the standard flavor okay python 3.x tomorrow python 3.7 3.71 3.72 like this it's going to come next python with all the newer versions will provide support for old versions of python 3 don't worry about that only two and three breaking is there but the three and the next continuation backward compatibility is there so even if tomorrow new flavors are going to come which is going to provide support for python 3 that's why don't worry much <laughs> are you getting sushil okay next step sir as of now latest version is always uh, 3.x 3.7 are you getting that 3.7.0 is the latest version 3.7.0 is the latest version okay installing this python is very easy i will show one fine day don't worry about that <coughs> or otherwise i shared already yesterday some video link happily you can go through that okay now that's all these are just a very basic top level fundamentals of our our python sir okay what is python why the name came when compared with other languages what benefits are there next uh, for which type of applications we can able to develop which what are various features of python limitations flavors next uh, versions uh, like uh, this is the discussion what you people should be aware now slowly we will enter into language level observe that carefully sir okay <clears throat> next uh, what is used to define a block of code in 3.7 uh, smruti ranjan same code only don't worry Block of code, colon, and so on. We will discuss all those. Okay. Now, the next cinema, what I have to touch on, identifiers concept. Just a way. Slowly programming. The instead of general discussion already completed. Now, let me talk about, let me, let me go for next level. Okay. Identifiers concept. In any programming language, if you consider any programming language, 
there are some names are there in any in any program just observe that in this class almost around uh, you know 100 plus students are there then how i can refer each person sometimes i'm calling sushil sometimes i'm calling smruti ranjan sometimes i'm calling okay like like uh, by name i'm calling are you getting that by name in a class 100 members are there then how i can differentiate each and every person can you please tell obviously by using name by using name that the name that the name in inside the python program that the name inside python program is called is called identifier remember this one so which can be used for identification purpose name name which can be used for identification purpose that the name is by default considered yes identifier suppose there are four variables are there sir four variables are there a is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, C is equal to 30, 30, D is equal to 40. Sir, how I can differentiate these variables? If multiple variables are there, how I can differentiate these variables? Yes, we record yours, A, B, C, D, something like that, right? Okay. So by using name, we can able to differentiate that the name in our Python program by default concept. Yes, identify. Any doubt? everyone in the position to understand right sir name name itself is by default considered as identifier right that the name can be variable name that the name can be variable name that the name can be method a name method a name that the name can be class name how to declare all these things we will discuss slowly don't worry much about that sir sir while defining these names Regarding while defining these names compulsory, we require to follow certain rules, rules and regulations, right? Okay, rules to define, rules to define, sir, Python identifiers. Regarding, so rules to define Python identifiers, okay? What rules are there, sir? Very simple. Sir, I'm taking A is equal to 10, valid data, valid. Sir, so, total is equal to 30, valid or not? Total is equal to 30, 30 itself is valid. Okay? Now I'm taking, sir, so, total, total, number, number is equal to 40 I'm taking. Can you please tell, is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? Yes, valid, no problem at all. So, in the identifiers, in the first case, which is the identifier? Identifier means name, name of the variable, name of the method, name of the class like identifier. In the first line, which is the identifier? In the first line, which is the identifier? A. In the second one, total. In the third one, total number. Total underscore number right. Now, while defining these identifiers, which rules we have to follow? Rule number one. Okay. The only allowed characters. The only allowed, allowed characters. The only allowed characters are, remember that, alphabet symbols you can use right. Alphabet symbols we can use. A to Z, either lower case or upper case. No problem at all. Next, uh, digits are allowed. 0 to 9. Are you getting? Digits are allowed. No problem at all, sir. Digits, digits are allowed. Itself is acceptable. Okay, 0 to 9. Next, uh, only one special symbol is allowed. What is that special symbol is? Only one special symbol is allowed. What is that special symbol? Underscore. Remember this one. What is that special symbol, sir? Underscore symbol. These are the only allowed characters in Python identifiers. Remember that. By mistake, if you are using any other identifier, immediately error by default we are going to get. Observe that. So, what are various valid identifiers? So, which, which characters are allowed in the Python identifiers, right? Alphabet symbols, digits. And only one special character. What is the special character is underscore symbol. By mistake, if you are using any other, immediately error by default you are going to get, sir. Okay? Just uh, have a look once uh, about, about this uh, terminology, right? Have a, have a look once, sir. I'm taking, just let me enter in the Python console. Now, x is equal to 10, perfectly valid. Total underscore number is equal to 20, valid, no problem at all. Total hash symbol is equal to 30, I'm taking. Can you please confirm? Is it valid or invalid? Uh, respond. 
Is it valid or invalid? Invalid. Immediately you are ready for you are going to get. Because the reason for that is, sir, here ash symbol is not allowed. By mistake, if you are taking any other symbol, immediately Python virtual machine will be left and right. Observe that. Observe that. Immediately this telling. Oh, name error. Total is not defined. Name error. Total is not defined. Something like the problem we are going to get. Okay? Because ash symbol, we are not allowed to use. We are not allowed to use in the, in the identifiers. Right? Next, uh, C A sub cash. Are you getting cash is equal to 30? Valid or not? Can you please confirm? Cash is equal to 30. Is it valid or not? Yes, it is a valid, no problem. Now, C A dollar H is equal to 30. I am taking. Is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? Huh? Invalid. Invalid. Sir, C A dollar H is invalid because dollar symbol is not allowed. The only allowed characters in Python identifiers are alphabet symbols, digits, and then underscore symbol. By mistake, if you are using any other, immediately error by default, you are going to get, sir. Now, can you please observe that? Syntax error. Can you please observe that? Syntax error. Syntax error, invalid syntax. Clear, friends? So, this is the first rule what we have. The only allowed characters are edited, capital A to Z, 0 to 9, underscore symbol. By mistake, if you are using any other, immediately we are going to get the error right. Okay, well. Now, here just to take a bit very special care. Uh, parenthesis we are using, Akanksha. Parenthesis we are using just to not to define identifiers, just to, to group A, A plus a B, or A plus a B, something like that. To group the result, we are using parenthesis, but not to define identifiers. Okay, identifier means name of the variable. Name of the variable in the name, we should not use parenthesis. Remember. Okay, second point. We'll come. Uh, Amit, Amit itself is valid. We'll be, we'll be discussed. Don't worry. Sir, now the first rule is the very clear. Sir, which symbols are allowed? Which symbols are allowed in our identifiers, right? Okay, observe that. Next, the second one, sir. Identifiers. Uh, identifiers. Sir, if I can take like this. Let me go for example and then I will take. Total 1, 2, 3 is equal to 45. Can you please confirm valid or not? Please tell total 1, 2, 3 is equal to 45. Valid or not? Valid, valid, valid. No problem. Now 1, 2, 3 total is equal to 45. Valid or not? 1, 2, 3 total is equal to 45. Valid or not? Yeah, remember that. In almost all programming languages, this type of rule is there, sir. In Java, in C language, in C++, everywhere this rule is there. First one is the valid, second one is invalid, invalid. What the reason is, identifier should not start with the digit. Remember this one. So, identifier should not start with the digit. Should not start with the digit, digit, like this, right? That's why, right. so first one is the valid, but second one is invalid. Remember that, total, total, one, two, three. Valid, no problem. 1, 2, 3, total is equal to 15. Immediately error, syntax error, like this we are going to get. Invalid syntax. Syntax error, like we are going to get, sir. Okay, remember that. So, means uh, identifier should not start with the digit. Now, I have one small doubt. Amit, Amit, can you please confirm? Durga underscore, okay? Sir, underscore Durga underscore mobile, mobile underscore number. Can you please tell, is it valid or not? Anyone, can you please tell, is it valid or not? Sir, our rule is, our rule is, uh, identifier should not start with the digit. What is the problem? Can it start with the underscore symbol? No issue at all. Itself is valid. Itself is valid, sir. Okay? Now, if you want, uh, let me, let me take this one. 100% pakka. 100% pakka. Itself is valid, sir. Don't worry about that. So, underscore, yoga, underscore, mobile, underscore, number is equal to 10. Okay, I'm not going to get any error. I'm not going to get any error. Just print this variable name, print this variable name, variable name, then directly it's going to print the value 10. So the rule is, the rule is, okay, we should not start with the digit. Sir can start with the underscore also, no problem at all. 
but one small point please inject in your mind for the future purpose if any variable starts with underscore symbol there is a big story is there okay just keep this point in your mind what that story we will discuss as soon just the aware sir underscore symbols are a bit dangerous symbols in the python okay there is some meaning is there that part we are going to take care after this is the clear so only two points which characters are allowed in the python identifier alphabet symbols underscore symbol digit next underscore uh, i mean identifiers should not start with the digit this is the second point okay like that what is the third one sir yesterday already some people asked this one total is equal to 10 i'm taking total is equal to 10 i'm taking next uh, total is equal to 20 i'm taking next uh, here total is equal to 30 i'm taking sir can you please tell all these are same or different please confirm yesterday also we discussed about this hey swarthi ranjan all are same or all are different all are different different what is the reason for that is because here it is the lower case here it is the upper case it is the title case title case means only first character is the upper only first character is the upper but all the remaining are lower case only that's why so all are different so make sure identifiers are case sensitive identifiers are case sensitive okay lower case and upper case there is a difference is there with respect to the case of course python language itself is a case sensitive language observe that observe you very carefully sir total is equal to 10 next and after the total is equal to 20 i'm taking sir next uh, total is equal to 30 i'm taking like this now if i print uh, total if i print a total which value is coming sir 10 is coming if i print a total 10 is coming if i print uh, total total 20 is coming are you getting so python identifiers are case sensitive remember that's why right? lower case and upper case there is a difference there in the python remember that any doubt up to this is the very clear okay well sir what is the next point legend is a bit very very carefully sir sir i'm taking max sir how much length number of characters are allowed in the python identifier maximum max sir. how many how many characters are allowed in the python identifier can you please tell max how many characters are allowed Sir, especially in the python you know there is no length limit even you can take any big identifier also any big thing also no problem at all sir x x x x x x x x x and so on then perfectly it is valid no problem at all any length any length even one crore length identifiers also yes you can take but too much lengthy too lengthy identifiers not recommended to take unnecessary unnecessary readability by default is going to be down suppose i'm taking i want to write a python program sir yes i'm taking a variable x x x x x x x and so on yes i'm taking one variable sir yes i'm taking one variable one variable is equal to 10 i'm taking sir wow wonderful variable <laughs> are you getting is equal to 10 i'm taking sir have you observed what the name of the variables are x x x x x x x x and so on like this sir i want to print uh, the value of this variable i want to print uh, the value of this variable sir print uh, here just i'm taking that wow are you getting it if i can show this code to any person okay are i wrote one beautiful python program can you please uh, sir can you please uh, uh, check like this if i show this python program then it's going to see from top to bottom. Are what you are doing in this code? What I'm doing in this code? I'm declaring a variable. I'm declaring a variable with the value 10. I'm trying to print uh, this variable value by using print. Okay. I'm trying are to do this. This much lengthy code is it, is it required? Is it the Python code or is it some design? Okay. So make sure two lengthy identifiers never recommended to you it reduces the readability of the code that's why so length limit is not there it doesn't mean you have to take big length identifiers right meaningful names short names only we require to take clear 
blank space is not allowed in the identifier so bus is okay next one sir one more rule one more one more rule so for the rules sir no length limit no length limit for identifier sir sir what is the next one here i'm taking here i'm taking if for is equal to 10 can you please confirm is it valid or not if is equal to 10 is it valid or not valid or not here if is equal to 20 can you please tell these are valid or not okay remember that the people who are new to the programming take a bit very very special care sir sir in any programming language there are some words are reserved 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 words are there to represent some meaning those words are by default considered as yes, keywords keywords right remember this one reserved reserved words are keywords like the people are going to use sir we can't use reserved words or keywords yes identify yeah because if there is a meaning is there if there is a meaning is there how you can use for your names that's why it is not uh, not acceptable if you are going to use a reserved word yes identify yeah, right that's why reserved words we can't use we can't we can't use reserved words as identifier yeah, right or keywords as identifier yeah, okay by mistake, if you are using reserved words or keywords, immediately error by default you are going to get, sir. Observe that uh, carefully. Yes, is equal to 30, I am taking. Can you please have a look once? Immediately syntax error, invalid syntax. Invalid syntax, sir. Next one after that, elif is equal to some 40, I am taking. Immediately error by default you are going to get. That's why keywords are reserved words. We can't use as identifiers. Yes. Friends, everyone can able to understand yes what are various rules are available okay just only five rules are there sir so the only allowed characters are alphabet symbols under digits underscore symbol only next the uh, identifier should not start with the digit identifiers are case sensitive next uh, there is no length limit for java for python identifiers sir you can take any any lengthy but not recommended to take two lengthy identifiers next uh, reserved words we can't use yes uh, yes identifiers by mistake if you are trying to use immediately you are going to get error remember that okay now sushil is keep on asking a small doubt sir okay <laughs> yes sushil i am coming to that point only sir uh, sushil is is asking a small doubt actually sir whether you observed or not i don't know sir here just a total total uh yash is equal to 10 i'm taking total total dollar is equal to is equal to 20 i'm taking sir can you please tell first one and second one among these two which are valid which are invalid which are valid which are invalid can you please tell among these two both are invalid both are invalid i'm sure both are invalid sir both are invalid because as symbol is not allowed dollar symbol is not allowed as a symbol is not allowed dollar symbol is not allowed if i can take a total total dollar like this can you please observe that immediately syntax error we are going to get but if I can take like this total cash, what will happen, sir? Can you please tell? Is it valid or invalid? <laughs> yes, man. Ayo. Is it valid or invalid? <laughs> Is it valid or invalid? Invalid only. Invalid only. Don't worry. Sir, if you are taking like this, it is the invalid only. It is the invalid only. Okay? Don't get confused. Here the reason I will explain. Here see, see this one, sir. Suppose okay. Some now what what I'm taking? What I'm taking? Total here total total value as is equal to 30. I'm taking, sir. Can you please tell? Is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? Invalid, invalid. Don't worry, because ash symbol is not allowed. Ash symbol is not allowed, not allowed. That's why it is invalid. Name error. Name error like this. What is the reason? Now, yes, our first doubt is in the earlier case we are getting syntax error, but in this case we are getting name error. Why, sir? What is the difference? 
why why what is the difference sometimes you are getting syntax error sometimes you are getting name error what the what the what the difference between these errors uh, like uh, this is about your major doubt so share it okay just the reason is in python in python if any thing you want to consider is a comment uh, comment uh, then we should go for hash symbol regarding hash wherever hash symbol is there it is considered as comment comment remember this one whenever you are taking total value as 30 what will happen is yes this part is treated as as comment now you are trying to print a total value but total value there is no such type of variable is there that's why we are going to get name error saying sir total value is not available are you are you able to understand right name error like this because it is treated as comment comment that's why right okay it is treated as comment observe that carefully right okay but uh, sir if you can take dollar dollar symbol is not allowed because there is no specific meaning is there that's why here syntax error we are going to get okay now here just observe if i can take total total what is the value 10 because total variable already there sir at the at the beginning have you observed right total i declare total is equal to 10 it's already there already there that's why total is the 10 even total as a symbol i i i am printing i'm printing total value like this now do you know here hash symbol under then remaining part it is the comment it is the comment python virtual machine simply ignore this comment just it is trying to print total observe a bit carefully sir yes what the answer yes sir then only so share it now you can able to understand are you getting the point right so if anywhere hash symbol is there it is simply treated as comment in python remember that okay that's all this is a bit internal thing now can you please tell i'm taking a small example sir how many people can able to guess sir here i'm taking here i'm taking total uh, sorry here i'm taking just uh, durga is equal to 10 legend legend a bit very carefully sir durga is equal to 10 Durga dollar is equal to 20. Is it valid or not? Is this line is valid or not? After this line, is this line is valid or not? Please confirm. Invalid. 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 Next, here I am taking Durga. Durga as a symbol software is equal to 30. I am taking. Can you please tell this line is valid or not? This line is valid or not? Yes, after this line, this line definitely is valid because because durga already declared here durga is already declared here now this total thing is considered the comment now you are trying to print the value of durga okay remember this one first i am taking like this okay have you observed right if you can use these two lines perfectly it is going to work sir perfectly it is going to work because you already declared value of durga at the 10 now you are trying to print the Durga value because the remaining thing is considered as a comment. Now, if I can take like this, can you please observe that? Can you please observe what will happen here? Let me consider. Durga is equal to 10. Under then Durga as software is equal to 20. Then automatically 10 by default you are going to get. Perfectly it is going to work. Sir, because hash symbol is considered the comment. You are trying to print this identifier. If this identifier is already there, no problem. If it is not already there, then you will get the error saying name error, no such type of identifier like this. Okay, all the people can able to understand this small internal loophole. Okay, why I am stressing this much is how to declare comments in Python. Parallelly, you can able to understand. How you can able to declare comments in Python single line comments uh, as a symbol? This is Python comment. Okay. If you are going to write this line anywhere, Python virtual mission is going to ignore this line because it is simply comment for readability purpose, understandability purpose, programmer wrote. This line not meant for processing. 
comments will be simply ignored by python virtual machine everyone can able to understand okay next and after the multi line comments uh, special syntax is not there in the python for multi line comments multi line comments also we have to use the hash symbol only don't keep any doubt at all if you want to declare multi lines multi line comments also compulsory we require to use hash symbol for every line okay no special syntax for multi line comments okay remember iphone 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 like such a type of symbols are not allowed directly even 10 lines are there if you want to comment 10 lines yes all the 10 lines starts with hash symbol only remember that okay ah uh, uh, shanas yeah it is it is invalid whatever you are telling it is invalid multi line comments no <clears throat> clear right for multi lines uh, just observe that just existing one small one small uh, program i will show so that your doubts by default will be clarified about multi line comments here just the uh, one minute please i will show some editor don't worry some editor i want to show uh, here this is the this is the python code observe that don't worry what is this code don't ask any question don't ask any question are you getting what is this one can you please tell what is this one as a symbol create your views here are you getting create your views here it is a comment it's a comment single line comment now i wrote multiple lines i want to comment all these lines what i'm going to take i'm using some shortcut here don't don't worry while while discussing ides i will discuss yes observe that observe that yes now all these lines by default will be commented or not yes how many hash symbols i'm using how many hash symbols i'm using for every line separate hash symbol we require to use so multi line special multi line comments special syntax is not there in the python remember every line compulsory we require to do like that only okay like that. yes we can able to keep even in the middle also comment no problem okay like i hope everyone can able to understand right that's all just for your idea purpose i'm showing existing one small project project related code i'm, I'm showing sir okay next time invalid subhasis how our space is equal to 10 is invalid because space is not allowed in the middle because multi line comments in every line compulsory we require to take we require to take as a symbol beginning of the line last line i want to take as symbols so not acceptable because <clears throat> clear right yeah next the cinema okay that's all this is now i have one small question for you people just uh, have a look once can you please tell among these which are valid python identifiers okay here one two three total total one two three next and after that java to share java to share next uh, ca dollar h one minute ca dollar h underscore abc underscore abc i'm taking next and after that def i'm taking def i'm taking if i'm taking sir can you please confirm among these which are valid which are invalid are getting which are valid and which are invalid okay observe that one two three total invalid because identifier should not starts with a digit so it is invalid total one two three valid java to share valid next this is invalid because dollar symbol is not allowed sir it is valid because all the rules are satisfied D E F is the Python keyword we can't use as identifier. If we is the Python keyword we can't use as identifier. Remember that. So which are valid, which are invalid, like it's very clear. Any doubt? Any doubt in my explanation? Okay. Well, man. next uh, there is a small note that you people should be aware. A bit dangerous terminology. Please observe carefully, sir. 
keep it dangerous terminology please observe observe very carefully if identifier starts with the underscore symbol sir observe that underscore durga i told right if identifier starts with the underscore symbol take a bit very 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 special case sir it is sir, sir means that protected variable what the meaning of this one sir in the whoops concept i will discuss up to that just aware sir underscore symbol is there oh there is some special meaning is there okay sir protected variable like this right suppose if any variable starts with the two underscore symbols sir. two underscore symbols sir it is a private variable remember that this one is private private variable okay in the whoops concept we are going to discuss in detail for any variable starts with a single underscore starts with the two underscore symbols there is a meaning is there sir okay there is some significance is there this is the private variable this is the protected variable like what is the meaning of that in the whoops we will discuss in detail next and after that there is sometimes you know starts with the two underscore symbols and then ends with the two underscore symbols oh have you observed right two underscore symbols at the beginning two underscore symbols at the end okay two underscore symbols at the beginning two underscore symbols at the end okay like uh, two underscore symbols at the beginning and the end uh, these are type of things are called there is a python reserved identifier this is remember this one sir these are python reserved identifier was wow, so there is a meaning is there about the, these things these are not reserved words sir but python language specific identifier sir these things right okay so it is going to use internally python is going to use such type of identifiers right that's why I highly recommended while declaring our identifiers don't use this naming conventions because these naming conventions are already reserved for the python uh, python language level identifiers are you getting right can you please confirm okay sir here just observe carefully sir i'm taking print as underscore underscore file underscore underscore like this next time after that print uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore like sir i didn't define these things i didn't define these things sir but still i'm trying to print uh, what will happen sir can you please have a look once can you please have a look once sir py test dot py yes what is the first one what the first one I took? Can you please tell? Underscore, underscore, file, underscore, underscore. Second one I took? Underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. Like this. Yes, these things are already there. Sir, file means uh, what is the name of your file? Test.py. So, what is the name? Underscore, underscore, name is nothing but main. Main, something like there is some meaning is there. These things are Python language level identifier. Yes, special meaning is there. That's why while defining your identifiers not recommended to declare with the two underscore symbols and two underscore symbols at the beginning and the end clear yeah here just observe there are this what is the what is the meaning of underscore underscore if any identifier starts with the single underscore symbol what is the meaning of this one is protected variable there is some special significance is there remember that next what is the meaning of underscore underscore durga it is a private variable there is a meaning is there sir so these are two things we are going to discuss in the whoops concept up to that don't ask any doubt because it's not correct time to talk okay just but why i'm telling this one sir just please keep in your mind underscore if any variable starts with one underscore or starts with the two underscore symbols there is a some special significance is there clear right next uh, sir if any variable starts and ends with the two underscore symbols language level there is a meaning is there for those variables remember that okay language level reserved identifiers are these things there is some special significance internally python is going to use these things right okay clear yeah 
Shiva, if you are going to use underscore symbol, if you are not going to use oops concept, there is no significance. There is no significance of these things. Okay, whenever the time comes, definitely I will explain in detail. Smurti Ranjan. Smurti Ranjan, are you able to understand? Okay, well. Sir, now that's all these words you should be are protected, private. There is some significant. Okay, like that. from total discussion. So what I'm telling is before any identifier, one underscore, two underscore symbols are there. So there is some significance is there. That significance will be discussed in the next sessions in detail. Just aware that. So what is the meaning of protected? What is the meaning of private? What is the language level spe special meaning? What it means? Can you please explain? It's not correct time to talk. That's all. This is about identifiers concept. Can I go to the next level? Can I go to the next level? Okay. That's all. What is the next cinema we have to talk about? Reserve word of words. Are you getting right? Next cinema we require to talk about reserve. Reserve word of words. There. In the, in the next session, I will explain in detail. Don't worry about that. Okay, if you are having any doubts, please let me know so that I can explain. Here, do you know? X, here, in two ways, you can execute Python code. One way is, one way, one way is, from, from, from Python console, from Python console, console, Second one, second one from Python as a Python program, as a Python program, Python program, remember this one. Suppose I'm currently in the command prompt, okay, py, if I can take, this is the Python console, remember this one. Sir, we observed three greater than symbols are coming, Python console. In the Python console, x is equal to 10 okay well i declare a variable x i want to print x value in the console if you want to print x value just type x enter then it's going to print 10 but uh, i want to write this code inside a python file are you getting x is equal to 10 and then print of x okay here, where, where I am writing this code, I am writing this code in a Python file. Under this file, I want to execute from the command prompt. Are you getting? Sir, now I am in the command prompt. Observe this, I am in the command prompt. Now py test.py. Are you getting? So now 10 we are going to get. So from the Python console, if you want to print x value, just type x enter that thing is enough happily you can get x value but if you are going to execute inside a python file compulsory we require to use print of x just x immediately error by default we are going to get just observe this sir x is equal to n x observe this observe this it's not going to print anything it's not going to print anything it won't print anything sir whenever we are taking print of x then only it is going to print a 10 Clear right? Nitesh, I hope your doubt got clarified. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, yeah. Jay Kirti, sir, after completing this course for every registered student, sir, we, uh, I mean, you can, you can get a course completion certificate from us. Okay, certificate is possible. Don't worry. 